Hi everyone, if you're like me, you've just been asked a barrage of what's for dinner, mum. So tonight when I've still got loads of toing and froing to do with the kids, I have kept it really simple and I am making my family's favourite sweet and sour chicken. Now everyone loves a good sweet and sour chicken or sweet and sour pork. Oh, here's my beautiful 13 year old. Do you want to come and help me, Hamilton? Yeah, sure. Thank you. It was bad timing, wasn't it? Love. <laughs> Whoopsies. But anyway, so we're having sweet and sour chicken. And all I've done, literally, you can see here, we've got some flour. Hamilton, can you put some salt and pepper into the flour? We're going to season our flour. So we've just got some plain flour that I put into a bowl. I've chopped up my chicken pieces. Now, I'm actually going to coat the chicken in the seasoned flour. And then I'm going to put it into my pan. That's getting really hot. So how much and that chicken loves got to go into the flour and you've got to stir it all together. Do you want to just give that flour a little bit more salt and pepper down? So you could, um, yeah, we're just going to season our, our flour and then tip in our chicken pieces. Now you could do pork with this, you could do fish with this, you could do any number of vegetables. Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. If you're like me being asked what's for dinner, then this is one you're going to have to try. And honestly, this recipe has been in my family for years and years. If my mummy, my beautiful mummy is watching, hello, Jeanette McCosca, she has made this for me and my brothers for years and years and years. So not new, but ever so helpful on those nights where you don't have much time. Okay, so Hamilton seasoned our flour. We use probably about two cups of plain flour and a really good dose of salt and pepper. Now, Hagee, hey, into the um, flour, can you add the chicken pieces? Yeah. So we're just going to upend the chicken pieces and then, hun, you just want to stir to coat the chicken. Okay. So just stirring to coat the chicken and let me, so everyone can see what you're doing, this beautiful handsome boy. And then I've just got my um, frying pan, which I put a little bit of oil in, over a medium heat. So it's sitting over medium heat. And then as you coat these, love, I'm just going to get some out and start to cook them. Okay. Thank you, love. Teamwork. So our two ingredients so far, everyone, we've got some chicken and some flour, some seasoned plain flour. Now, a really easy way as well is if you've got a big Ziploc bag, put your flour in it, season it, salt and pepper, and then put your chicken pieces in it, and then just up and down and around and around and just, you know, shake it until the chicken's really nicely uh, coated. So here we go. We're going to just cook our chicken. How you going, champ? Looks good. Our karakas. And then just spread it out over the base of your non-stick frying pan. If you don't have a good non-stick frying pan, remember to put a little bit of oil into the base of it because you don't want it sticking. So there we go. Cooly magooly. And why we season um, our chicken with a little bit of flour is that it just uh, helps thicken the sauce at the end because we've got our two ingredients, chicken and flour. And then Hamilton, do you want to hold up? Can everyone see our big, can you hold up that down? Our big beautiful tray of chopped veggies. So what made me think, oh that's all right, capsicum dropped. What made me think to make this is that in our fridge we had a, um, a half a pineapple that my mum gave me on the weekend that was really ripe and I'm thinking, oh, you know, that typical innate frugal streak that I have growing up in the country. Um, I didn't want to throw it out, so what I did, I just chopped up the pineapple and I thought, right, I'm going to put it into my sweet and sour pork because generally the vegetables that go really nicely with sweet and sour, anything, pork, fish or chicken, is capsicum, onion, pineapple. So that is what I actually have on my plate. What I also really like about our plate of veggies today, hey Chi, what do you notice about that? It's colourful. It is really colourful, that's what I thought too. So, you know, the more colour in food, the more nutrients, so we really like that as well. So, okay, dogs, let's just flip over our chicken and then we'll move our cooked chicken to the side and we will add in. So, hun, as I, there's another tong. As I create room, can you add some extra chicken for me? Okay. So I've got a really large pan here and we're just coating our chicken in seasoned flour and then cooking it. And then we are going to add the sauce and veggies and that's it. 
That's how quick our dinner is tonight. So I don't know if any of you ever used, but what you do once you've cooked your chicken, you just add your canton sauce. So this is just, I know it's a cheats version, I know, but on those nights where you just don't have a lot of time, um, I like this dish because although you're using a sauce out of a jar, what it allows me to do is get my four or five vegetables into a dish for my children in the one dish. So, you know, a little bit of balancing, you know, to help you get a good nourish or a good balance, well balanced dinner on the table fast. So hello to everybody joining us uh, tonight. Rowena Bass, hello to you. Rebecca Costa, hello darling. Alison Carter, hello. Taylor Wantling, hello Dal, how are you? Carol Wood just down the road, hope you had a lovely Tuesday. Alisa Teresa Krause, hello to you. Michelle e. Vernon. So from Melbourne, oh gosh, you'll be wanting a nice warm, sweet and sour tonight. You might be adding a bit of chilli to yours. We believe it's a little chilli to that. Leanne and Sherelle Kath, Leslie Millett Upton. Hi, Kim, from beautiful sunny Perth. Leslie, send some of that sunshine over here to us. Beautiful Sharon Wells, hello, darling. I hope you're really well. Tian Linda now, how's everything in Adelaide, darling? You've had a really good choose day as well so you can see our chicken we're just cooking it i'm going to turn it around and just so you just really want browned on uh probably the longest process and i want you to literally in another be done and how we a one pot sweet and sour chicken that the whole cake will love. Do you know yes, I you? do. It's yummy. Yeah. This morning when we were talking about on the way to dinner, what everyone was asking for Chinese. But here's the thing, beautiful people. You know, when you've got five people, which we do, how old are our brothers? Uh, we've got a 10 and Six, 16. 16 year old. They have voracious appetites. So for me to go and order takeaway Chinese to fill us all up, I'm spending around 100 to $120. So I went to the supermarket today. Um, my sauces were on sale. So I think I bought two for $4. Uh, the chicken was $9 a kilo. So I got just over a kilo. So I'm at $13. I had the flour already. And the only vegetable I had to buy was my capsicum. So I am making this huge big dinner here tonight for all five of us for less than $15. So that's the difference of eating in versus eating out. And at least eating in, you know exactly the ingredients that are going in to nourish your family food. So, all right, and your chicken left, hey, G? Okay, let's pop it in over here, love. You're doing a good job. Helper, thank you. How was school today, love? It was good. It yeah. was good to learn lots. Yes. And Hamilton's little brother's in grade five. He had what did he have today? Napland. He had Napland. So to all of you who've got kids who had Napland, grade five, grade seven, grade nine today. Hope you're cooking something that they enjoyed. So Flinny, I said to Flinny, how'd you go? And he said one part was easy, one part was hard. So there you go. <laughs> Of you just joining us, Lisa's favorite sweet and sour chicken, and this probably takes the longest because Hamilton we chopped up the chicken, Hamilton's uh, seasoned the flour, plain flour, and then we just coated the chicken piece of the flour, which is what will actually sauce a little later when we get to that point. And now we're just browning the chicken off because it's really nice when you eat anything that there's just a little bit. And what I like about sweet and sour anything made at home as well, the batter isn't just, you know, the chicken isn't coated in just, it's actually just a really thin little coating. So, you know, if you think your children don't like it, you know, maybe try this version because they take a bite of this and the bulk of it is just all chicken, yeah. isn't it? Favorite for me? Most steak. Uh, probably chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Although pork burgers, you love. Yeah, I love pork burgers. They're nice. They're nice. And last night, what did we do? We did a chicken laksa, which was really yummy too. Yeah. See these sorts of 
I love them because what do I do with all these kinds of dishes, Hamilton? Um, lunch boxes. Lunch boxes, you make extra for lunch boxes, but uses up all my leftover vegetables in the fridge as well. So I tend to add a lot of veggies to everything, much to my children's delight, mm. <laughs> joy. <laughs> there we go. All righty, so here's our chicken. Nelly done? Mm. Oh, yeah, great. So this one, use whatever veggies you want. And then I think there's just a couple more that we will brown. And that's it. Hello to everybody. Oh, and here's my dad. My dad's just walked in. Everyone knows we're doing sweet and sour chicken tonight. So hello, Carol Wood. How are you? We'd like to see you make an eggplant parmigiana because so many folks, folks are vegetarians. And do you know, interestingly, Carol, what I'm working at at the moment, a book called Four Ingredients Vegetarian. So just hold the button. It's a comment. It's a comment. Leanne Brown, one pot wonder. That's what we are having, using up all the veggies and making beef and black bean with rice. Yummy. Share, share. Let me know what you put in yours, Leanne. Do your kids eat it? That's what I'm interested in knowing. Liam Gilbert, give us the thumbs up. Hey, maybe he was talking to you, Hamilton. Uh, Lainey J, can you pin the ingredients? Yes, after this, I will absolutely go back, edit and pin for you. Debbie Dare, hello from Tassie. Well, hello, Debbie. Lorna Foster, hello from the Gold Coast. Jamie Lee Rayfield, I'm just cooking chicken schnitzel. That was on special. And I'll chop it up and use it for a fresh salad. See, stuff like that, chicken schnitzel as well, the next day in a wrap is really good too. Everyone loves that, don't they? It's yummy yum. Okay, so let's just, we're just turning the last of our chicken. And I'm doing a huge big batch. So this won't take you as long at home um, because I want leftovers for the kids' thermoses tomorrow. So, and we will just boil up some rice and we will serve our sweet and sour with rice. So should we do plain rice or fried rice? How much? Plain, plain rice is better. Plain rice tonight? Well, that's easier for me. So done, plain rice it is. And if you're like me, I won't be having plain rice. I will just be shredding up some iceberg lettuce. And that's what I'll be serving on the side of my sweet and sour chicken tonight. So, okay, there you go, beautiful people. Our chicken, nicely browned, nearly on all sides. Couple just in there, but that's okay because we'll reduce the heat and simmer. There we go. Now what I want to add, Hamilton, can you start at, where's the veggies, darling? Let's put the veggies. Can you your right hand? Okay, can you lift that for me? Yep. Okay, let's pile in the veggies. Here we go, these beautiful, colourful veggies. So we've got capsicum, we've got pineapple, red onion and shallots. So nearly every colour of the rainbow there. Thank you, love. There, all the juice from the um, fresh pineapple, and we're just going to mix that all around. And then, H, can you add in the sauces? And then, what we'll do is just reduce down the heat and just let it give it time to um, simmer and cook through. And there you go, beautiful people. That is a really easy one pot wonder. Um, that my mum used to make my brothers and I back in the 80s. We all loved it and she taught me and now I teach my children. So, of course, if you have time to make sweet and sour sauce, um, you know, as, yeah, both just up, as um, fresh as best. So totally do that. But if you're a little time poor, on those nights where you are, every now and then, from the jar, loaded with veggies, it's a balancing act. You know, it's whatever works for you and your family. So... Let's just stir that and then I'm going to reduce the heat. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can smell this. How good does it smell? It smells delicious. You know, it is sweet and sour for a reason, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go, beautiful people. That is our dinner tonight. And what I'll do once I've done, once I've actually finished, I'll take a lovely picky of it and post it on the top of this feed for you as well. But I'm just reducing the heat here. And I'm going to give it about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, just to sort of cook nice and slowly, keep that chicken nice and tender, get those vegetables, just not so that they're dead in the frying pan. They've still got a little bit of crisp, but they're nicely cooked and tender as well. And that gives me time to get my rice on. And that, if you can see that, oh, let me just get this, is our dinner. Sweet and sour chicken. 
and it cost me $15 to feed the five of us. So that's the benefit of A, shopping locally and B, cooking at home. So wherever you are, beautiful people, thanks for joining us tonight. Hope it helps. One pot cooking. Look out for a little book called Four Ingredients, One Pot if you like this style of cooking because it is loaded with ideas just like it. So have a fabulous week and don't forget, join me um, 11 uh, a.m. on Thursday morning where this week I am making a really yummy Boston baked beans, a sweet, oh, it's so nice and it's with ham hock. So talk about economical meat, protein. Um, I'm doing that in a slow cooker, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. So to all of you everywhere, have a lovely evening. And um, yes, don't forget the popcorn. It's Lego Masters Grand Final. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Who's going to win? Uh, the two young boys? No, the other two. Like, the, the older guys, one with the beard and the bald guy, no, G, no. Dale and... Yes. Dale. Oh, well, anyway, there you go. We love that show. But Thanks, guys. Lisa Bourne, yummo, my fave. It is, and honestly, it smells so good. Jenny Fechner, hello from the Barossa Valley. Hello, Jen. Hope you're having a nice red tonight down there. Margaret Finlay, hello from Hobart. Margaret, you might need a nice sweet and sour tonight. Add some chilies for some warmth. Kathy, hello to you. Noddy Kaz, everybody, wherever you are, from too many comments. It's, oh, my gosh, look at him, H.E. Yeah. Rebecca Butler, hello to you. Jan Dunstan and everybody. Dad, come around here and say hello. Come, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on. Everybody. <laughs> and that's my dad. Woo, he's running away. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> See you, everyone. See you Thursday. Bye. <laughs> Too funny. We're so mean.